The word unprecedented has been bandied about a lot recently, but it doesn't make it any less apt. These really are unprecedented times. The COVID-19 pandemic has completely upended life around the world, especially so in the United Kingdom, which has become one of the countries worst affected by the virus. But amidst the rising death toll and isolation, a number of positives seem to be emerging, not least from the fact that more and more people in Southampton are getting on their bikes thanks to less motor traffic and the recent good weather. Figures from Southampton City Council state that there has been a 64% increase in ridership during the coronavirus crisis, as people abandon public transport, and there now seems to be an appetite at both local and national government level to lock these changes in. Among the earliest measures is the pop-up cycle lane, coned off temporary lanes that provide a safe space for people to ride their bike along major routes. Within the past few days, Southampton City Council has created the first pop-up route, running from Chilworth Roundabout in the north for almost two miles, where it meets the existing SCN5 route at Northlands Road. A pop-up route can exist for up to 18 months, though Southampton City Council will be making a decision on whether to make this permanent sooner rather than later. Today's video will be a full ride from Chilworth Roundabout to Dorset Street, just north of the city centre. A journey that took me just under 15 minutes.
Travelling past the Winchester Road roundabout southbound is easy enough as the route remains coned off. However, if you are travelling northbound, you do need to cross over the left turning lane in order to reach the segregated section going around. From this point onwards, the cones disappear. Now, when I first saw this on Twitter, I was slightly apprehensive, as it has been proven that having a painted line on the road is often worse than doing nothing at all, thanks to research from Monash University. However, combined with the reduction of speed limit from 40 miles an hour to 30 miles an hour along Bassett Avenue and the Avenue, I didn't feel that threatened, I didn't get a close pass once, I felt like there was ample room with uh, what was lined off here. Going past Burgess Road, there is a slight obstacle here. There's a chicane between two road signs, which I was able to get around with a bit of braking. However, if there's many people trying to get through here, it can cause a bit of a problem, maybe a bit of a, a traffic jam. And it will be problematic also for people with wide bikes, for example, cargo bikes. So this will probably need sorting out. Here the pop-up cycle lane ends, and we continue along the road for a little while until we reach Westwood Road, where we rejoin the newly constructed section of SCN5.
So to summarise, despite most of the route being just a painted line, and despite there being a few problems with chicanes, the fact that nearly two miles of cycleway was put out over just two nights is to be applauded. The combination with the lower speed limit of 30 miles an hour made me feel safer, though I'd perhaps feel safer still if the entire route was coned or had wands installed. However, as it appears that the section between Burgess Road and Northlands Road is the next item on Southampton City Council's cycleway list, we may see something more permanent sooner rather than later. Pop-up lanes are also due to appear on Winchester Road and Hill Lane within the next couple of weeks. I will also be documenting those routes. In the world of cycling infrastructure, things are about to get moving very quickly. <laughs>